So I saw a video posted this week from the off-grid basement where the test was to run your washing machine off of a 100 amp battery and see how long it was gonna last. And I thought it was a great test and it actually reminded me of the little annoyances that I have with my own washing machine on my uh, 6500EX inverters behind me. So when the washing machine runs, the lights pulse. And it's, it's not every room on that phase, but it's just certain lights. And in discussing with Signature Solar, it seems like cheaper bulbs tend to flicker and pulse more on the inverter. So let's see what happens when we swap the bulbs out for a better quality bulb. Let's get started. All right, we're here in my laundry room, getting ready to run a test. So in my home, the washing machine ends up causing lights to flicker when the agitation cycle is running. So it is a Kenmore, Kenmore 600. Uh, it's got a full load of colors in right now. And it used to have the refrigerator light pulse in, in tune with the washing machine, but I switched phases that this laundry room is on. So the fridge no longer does it, but the laundry room light and one of the bathroom lights tends to do it. So I want to run a test right now. Supposedly, if you put a better quality LED bulb in, you don't have the flickering anymore. So this is some janky chandelier LED bulb right now. So I've got the wash filled up. We're gonna turn it on and we're going to see the pulsing and then we'll swap out the bulb for a different one and see if that makes any difference. Okay, take two, it helps to have the Inverters in battery mode, not in grid bypass mode. And actually you can see this janky bulb right now because it's doing some little flickering. I don't know if the camera's actually picking that up, but let's turn this on and we should see the pulsing. There we go, nice strobe effect. I think you can see that's actually happening. See if I can catch it from outside. There. Good strobe effect. All right, we're in my son's bathroom. And it's doing that strobe effect in here as well. So we'll stop the wash. Swap out the bulb and see if it makes any difference. Yeah, it's doing a flicker regardless. So right now this bulb is a FEIT electric, feet electric. Then I'm gonna be putting in a Sylvania, whether or not that's a high quality bulb or not. It's, the, it's better than well, that alone, I'm not seeing a flicker. Or am I? No, I'm still seeing a flicker. It's very faint. So maybe Sylvania is not a very good bulb. But let's turn the wash back on and see if we see it blinking. It's still doing it but it's much less prominent. All right, 
we will try the bathroom and see what that does. Yeah, these bulbs are flickering regardless. Let's see, this one, this one is an earth bulb. That sounds cheap. Switch that one out. Turn off the main light. Let's go turn the wash back on and see if we notice a difference. Yeah, it's still doing it in here. Again, not as prominent. Even the hallway lights are tending to pulse a little bit. So Signature Solar recommended, as I said, the higher quality bulbs. And they said a brand that they've had good experience with is the Philips. So the only Philips bulb that I have to test with is one of the Philips Hue smart bulbs. So whether or not this is going to be better or worse, I don't know. There's still a faint flicker. But we'll try it anyways. And turn the wash on. Yeah, this one's doing it too. And I don't know if this is just because it's the smart bulb, the Philips Hue bulb or not. So we're gonna switch back to the Sylvania for now. that seems to be the least amount of flicker right now. So that's what we're going to go with. Kind of a fun little testing experiment though. It's rid of a nasty flicker. In fact, right now I see more in the hallway than I do with these. So I might have to replace my little uh, puck lights in the hallway. So it does seem like there might be something to this whole thing of having quality LED bulbs versus junk ones, which I mean, I guess makes sense. So I'm happy that at least in the laundry room and even in my son's bathroom, uh, the lights are not going crazy every time we run the wash. So now it looks like I'm just gonna need to kind of go through and find some of the other lights on that same phase and see if I can upgrade to little better quality bulbs. I know a lot of the LEDs that we have in the house are uh, some kind of cheapo LEDs that we got from consumers. At least I know going forward I can replace uh, the flickering lights with Sylvania bulbs. I'll try and see if I can find some Philips ones from probably Home Depot and see if I can test those as well, see if we have the same results as the Sylvanias or if we even have even better uh, results. So with that, I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all stay safe, stay warm, and we'll catch up with you later.